And now hundreds of Expos fans showed up bright and early at Jerry Park today for a pitch and catch with some former players. The event was organized by Expos Nation. The fan base group is looking to show there is support for bringing Major League Baseball back to Montreal. But as Kevin Gallagher reports, they will have their work cut out for them. It was a love fest for everything Expos. A chance to play catch and meet some former players. Curveball. Like Steve Rogers, the pitcher with the most wins in Expos history. You have to start somewhere. And the grassroots efforts of, of the Expos Nation, grassroots uh, efforts of, uh, of Warren Cromartie and his uh, group to uh, try and bring uh, a real chance for uh, a franchise to return here. The event was put on by Expos Nation as a way for fans to wax nostalgic about the days of Nos Amours and for a younger generation to catch the baseball bug. So it's all about um, galvanizing the fan base, showing there's a fan base. And you can see a lot of Expo fans in the crowd today. Last month, more than 1,000 people wore their colors proudly and cheered loudly at a Toronto Blue Jays game. And more than 7,000 have promised to buy season tickets if a team ever came back. We needed to do something in Montreal for people that couldn't make the trip. And also, it's time that we start to do things in the city and wake people up. While many fans miss the team, most Montrealers are skeptical the Expos will return. There's no question there's big interest in the... Uh and having a major league ball team here. But there's no political will to do it. I'm very much against that. Tell me. Because uh, one way or another we will pay as a taxpayers for that and uh, however fix the roads. But these fans at Jerry Park aren't ready to give up hope quite yet. And for Montreal baseball fans that want to get another look at some of their former Expos favorites, they'll be facing off against some former Montreal Canadiens here in Ahuntsic at Gary Carter Stadium for a charity softball game tomorrow afternoon. Kevin Gallagher, CTV News.